Mantis shrimp have superior vision. The idea of using their vision to improve camera technology inspired one researcher visiting the Great Barrier Reef where mantis shrimp live. And now you can see this technology playing a role in medical research at Washington University. Exploring something new, Victor Gribb dove right in with his eyes wide open. So when he encountered one of the world's deadliest predators, he had a life-changing realization. Of course, to be a very good predator, you have to have a very good vision system. And this is what fascinated me. These are the eyes that captivated the associate professor of computer science and engineering, leaving his Washington University lab for the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Griff worked with marine biologists testing new camera technology he developed for underwater data collection. Then along came the mantis shrimp. This shallow water predator is known for packing a powerful punch. Not exactly a heavyweight champion, but perhaps even better. This featherweight champ has club-like claws that accelerate at speeds of a 22 caliber bullet. It throws some of the fastest and most powerful punches in nature. It was enough to knock out Griv, resetting his course into a sea of discoveries that lie ahead. How can these creatures be able to have such a sophisticated vision? What is the mechanism? How did they implement it? And how are they able to sense so much visual information, which by the way is very different the way we perceive the world. Our eyes have three types of photoreceptors for light absorption that allows us to see a full spectrum of colors. The photoreceptors process one of the three primary colors, red, blue, and green. But mantis shrimp eyes have 12 different types of color receptors, meaning they see color beyond our wildest dreams. But that's not all. Mantis shrimp are able to see the polarization of light, which is light that is radiating, reflected, scattered, or refracted in different planes of direction. Having more types of light detecting cells than humans, they can see polarized light with less glare and distortion. With this polarized vision, they can actually see things humans can't. Griv says the mantis shrimp can see the hidden world. Sort of where I got fascinated, how can we mimic this mantis shrimp using today's nanotechnology to make a compact camera that can see the world as the mantis shrimp sees it. So his team set out to decode the inner principles of mantis shrimp vision to create sensors imaging devices and analyzers using a basic camera like this one. With this, researchers can see the polarization of light, which means the hidden world is now exposed. What we do is we work with marine biologists who take the, the, the eyes, they've studied the eyes, and as an engineer, when I look at the, their data, I look at it, hey, we actually have technology that I can m completely mimic the structure of their eyes. Using nanotechnology and tiny sensors common in smartphones, Griv created a sensor that enables advancements in polarized imaging. It's very cheap uh, technology that can capture more color, more spectral information and polarization information. Griv says at first the plan was to develop the technology for his work with marine biologists, but then it quickly turned into something more immediate for applications here at home in biomedicine. Luckily, being at Washington University and having a lot of collaborations with the medical school, it's opened up another avenue of applications. Griv has since joined University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, where he has moved his lab. But collaborations with Washington University researchers continues. One biomedical application, early cancer detection. In this endoscopy image of a mouse colon, a small camera equipped with Griv's optical sensors shows the cancer tissue in blue while the healthy tissue shows up as yellow. The polarized imaging can see cancer cells early on, well before the cells are recognizable to the human eye. We can detect early formation of cancer, where the cancer cells are, or tissue is still flat. And it's very difficult to see it using today's technology. Cancer tissue tend to be more disorganized, 
So when you shine polarized light or you shine light, it, it will bounce off from this tissue and will become polarized different than a healthy tissue. Griv says after animal studies, it may be a couple years before the technology will be used for early cancer detection during a colonoscopy. Griff says his cameras can be used for biomedical imaging in other ways, illuminating the hidden world of light polarization enticed Spencer Lake as well. The assistant professor of mechanical engineering and materials science is now using the technology in this camera to measure collagen strength in soft tissue. And the way in which those collagen fibers are organized will dictate how strong it is in different types of loading. The team is trying to understand how ligaments and tendons are organized and how they function to improve surgical procedures and outcomes. Here, Lake is measuring stress patterns in an animal tendon. So this is a very simple test that we're showing here just to demonstrate the system. The light emerging from this light source is circularly polarized and it goes right to the uh, ligament. So the circularly polarized light will interact with the tissue, go through the tissue, and then will get registered by this bio-inspired polarization camera. And these nanofilters are sitting right directly on individual photodetectors. The same way the visual system of the mantis shrimp is implemented. And now we can actually see the world as a mantis shrimp would see it. And in this case, we are looking at the stress patterns at the ligament. So here we can see what the camera is measuring in real time. And in this view here, this is just a black and white, this is a grayscale image. And if you look in this, this middle view here, this is the degree of linear polarization. This color intensity shows the degree to which the collagen is aligned in a particular direction. So we can measure changes in the structure of the tissue in real time as it's loaded. With the advantage of mantis shrimp vision, Lake has made new discoveries about the ACL and PCL that he says will help surgeons improve reconstruction and improve recovery for patients. We found that there's somewhat of a gradient of properties from one part of the tissue to the other. Where we're moving forward with this now is we're, we're evaluating common grafts that are used to repair these torn ligaments and we're trying to see which of these grafts that surgeons typically use most closely represent the tissue that they're replacing. Over time, as the patient rehabilitates and does physical therapy, that tissue will um, remodel, re will adapt to become more like the ACL. So if you're trying to become more like the original ACL, you can imagine that if you start off with a tissue that's closer already, then that should speed up the recovery period. The hope is for the list of medical advancements to grow now that Griv has the vision to make it happen. Every year he returns to the Great Barrier Reef to learn more. He hopes polarization cameras can one day be for everyone. Make it cheap and make it easy to use. The challenge is translating the information so that people who are not scientists can understand what they're seeing, the way a mantis shrimp sees the world. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger.